Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm so happy to be with you here today. It's Thursday, and that means we're doing simple stamping today. We're gonna take something really simple, but really pretty, and then we're gonna step it up. And it's all about fall colors today. I don't know where you are in the US, but here in San Antonio, we actually got a little kiss of fall this morning. The temperatures dropped below 70 early this morning and it was in the high 60s and definitely have a little bit of fall in the air. Hey Susan, I'm glad you're here with us today. I don't know about you, but fall is probably my favorite season. I, I love, every season has its beauty and every season has uh, something to commend it but I do love fall. Hi, Lisa and Michelle, welcome. So we are going to be doing something with definitely some fall colors today. In San Antonio, we don't get a lot of fall colors with our landscape. We get some, but not like you get up in the Northeast or the Northwest, so hi, Melissa. So we bring fall colors into our world in other ways. Hi, Missy and Linda. Oh, you're in upstate New York and I bet you're really getting fall today. So before I turn the camera down really quick, hi, Jill and Kim, welcome, welcome. Um, I wanted to tell you that this month for September, the hashtag simple stamping for Stampin' Up is stamps, ink and paper, with a birthday theme. So um, I need to turn off my notifications. Um, sorry about that. And um, that way, nobody's trying to message me in the middle of my live. Um, so that is what um, Stampin' Up! is encouraging us to share by way of simple stamping. Hi, Twyla. Close your eyes for just a minute. We're gonna go downhill. Okay, here we go. And you will see I've got some fall colors all ready for you for your stamping pleasure today. And this is a color scheme. And actually I'm casing a card that I did at my um, card class. I did a, I'm doing a live in-person class kind of about once a month. That used to be all I did. And of course, with the advent of COVID and lots of restrictions and people not feeling comfortable to gather, I switched that around and pretty much have been doing everything by mail. But I do have a group of people who really do like the experience of live stamping. So in my attempts to address kind of everybody, I've been doing that. And um, last Saturday, we did a card with these colors. So I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. I'm gonna really quickly show you. Hey, Marlene, I'm glad you're here. My Cards with a Twist just released today. I just wanna give you a brief look at this because I've already produced a video. And if you're on my email list, which I hope you are, you've already seen these. But I do, these. this is my, my most delightful class to, um, to design for all month. And it is a class where you get eight envelopes and you get all the, pro all the prepared supplies to make eight projects. Hi, Valerie. And I call it Cards with a Twist because you technically are getting two each of four designs, but there's a little twist in each design. And this month you can see I am concentrating or highlighting this gorgeous Black Beauty paper. And we always do our eight cards with a single stamp set. So we're using Beauty of Tomorrow. Thank you for signing up for my class, Twyla. I appreciate that so much. Excuse me, Beauty of Tomorrow, beautiful, beautiful stamp set. There are dies that coordinate. And um, the dies are really, I won't say unusual, because you have um, all of these that will cut out uh, your stamped images, but then you have these fun leaves that you can use, and this is kind of the star of the show as far as the dies go. Hi, Linda, I'm glad you're here. So you can add on the, the bundle if you wish. Some of you already have the bundle. Some of you are demonstrators, and you could even do the class without the bundle. It would just look a little bit different. So let me show you the cards really quick. I know I start getting off track, don't I? 
So we always, well, not always, typically <laughs> do a fun fold each time. And this time I chose this fold. This is a favorite fold of mine and I don't really know what you call it, but I love it because it really celebrates designer series paper. And I wanted to really showcase this paper because it is really just drop dead gorgeous. And see those little tiny leaves that are just fun to use. And I actually did this entire class with a single stamp pad. That's another thing I really love to do is to be able to see, oh, I, oh, I didn't get that. Ooh, I gotta pull that. Um, I ended up using a little bit of cinnamon cider there. So hi, Kathy, I'm glad you're here. I just now saw that. Um, that was, uh, that got past my design look. Um, so this is the two that we did with, um, I, think this, I think the light is kind of bleaching out my colors here. Let me see what happens if I turn this one off. Let me see if that helps color wise. You guys tell me if things are better. Uh, yeah, Linda, it is an easy fold and it does um, really showcase your designer series paper. Now I've got a lot of now I have a lot of um, sh uh, shadows going, so let's see if that's not a little bit better. Um, and I'm glad that you've seen this already, Susan, and you're gonna order my kit. These have really lovely stamps for inside, and one of the things that you're gonna get with this class is this ephemera pack, and it has all of these die cuts that are super fun to use. That's uh, number two here's number three on pairs of cards so this one you can see how i did the twist on it i just twisted the orientation and i flipped one of the papers and again brought in those little leaves i think they're super cute this is part of the ephemera pack and then you know bringing those little leaves in here for you as well so lots of fun things that we've done with these and then kind of the, probably the, um, the fanciest of the lot are these. And you can see this is that big die. It is just a gorgeous die. Here I've used the new gold shimmer vellum. And this is one of the pieces from the ephemera pack. And this as well. These are just die cuts that come in the ephemera pack. And you get that with my class. This one, let me see here, I, oh, this is again from the ephemera pack. And I love, love, love this saying, I love fall anyway, and this says, the changing of leaves reminds us that new wonders are just around the corner. I think it's just a beautiful sentiment, and this you could actually even send to a guy if you so chose. And then this one, I used the same die, but I did trim it down and didn't use the entire die. These are all pieces from the ephemera pack. And again, another piece from the ephemera pack. So for $35, you get everything you need to make these cards. Let me show you what else you get. You also get a half a pack of this gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. It is a specialty paper. And so that means that on one side, you have all this really cool gold foiling. And then on, this is my favorite piece with the owls. I'm a bird lover, so this is just really calls my name. And then the other side is these really gorgeous, I mean, look at that beautiful fall color palette. I just love, love, love this. This caught my eye when I first saw this mini catalog. So I've been waiting for the temperatures to turn just a wee bit. So you get all of that. You get these, this ephemera pack. I took it out of the uh, package so you could actually see. These are, you get one pack, one sheet there, two sheets here. And they're, so these are the same. And then you get two sheets like this with the owl and you can see, and then little uh, tags and all kinds of things. And then you get one like this. So just a beautiful pack, I love it. And then you also get a half a roll of this gold shimmer ribbon. Now I am gonna be shipping these out late in the month, partly because this is um, on back order and partly because I didn't get this released until today. And that's another story. So anyway, that is Cards with a Twist. Let me know if you need the link and I will be happy to supply that. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do today with some simple stamping. Now we're doing a birthday card and 
Marlene, you're not getting any of my emails. Okay, then we need to check on that. Will you text me so that I will um, look into that as soon as I am done here today? I'm going to use two stamp sets, both celebration stamp sets. So Delicate Dahlias is a popular stamp set, probably my favorite of the celebration offerings. Um, it is free with a $100 order, and so I know that's a little bit of a pricier order. Um, for some of us, that's not hard to do at all. Then, and it's free with a $100 order, it's two full sleeves of stamps. So this is a two-step stamp set. It has a lot of things, and I've done a lot of fun things with it already, but I can't stop using it, and it's perfect for fall. And then I'm also going to bring in my birthday greeting from In Your Words. In Your Words is a host-only stamp set. During celebration, it's totally free when you place a $300 order. Now, most of us can't place a $300 on our own, and that's where you get some friends and you make some projects and you have some fun. Everybody puts their orders in together, get some free stuff, and then as the host, you get this free stamp set. This one is called In Your Words because these greetings were actually derived from Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. They did some surveys and said, okay, tell us the greetings that you would like on a stamp set. And this is what the result was. So some really excellent greetings for inside and outside your card. And that's what I'm gonna be using today. So let's look at this color palette that I've come up with. And I'm using Very Vanilla and instead of basic white because I think it really does go better with most of your fall things not all of them but many of them and then I'm going to use one of our new in colors which is pale papaya and then its counterpart if you're looking for the darker version of pale papaya you can go a couple of different directions but I really like pumpkin pie I think it's just a great way to go with it and let's see, then I'm also bringing in a little bit of Mary Merlot. So there we go with our color palette. I have my stamps on their blocks. I just need to get my happy birthday going right here. And then we are going to be ready to do some simple stamping and then we're gonna step it up, okay? Now I'm starting with two card bases and because I'm going to do them side by side and these are pale papaya one of our new in colors it's a it's a beautiful peachy color I like everything orange hey Jane I'm glad you're here today and welcome Terry Lynn and Susan welcome welcome Okay, so here we have just, this is just a half sheet of cardstock. So when you have your eight and a half by 11 sheet, you can just cut it in half and then you don't have to score it. I like to score it because I think it folds better. And then you have enough for two of our regular card uh, bases. So what I'm gonna do first on this one is I'm gonna bring in the pale papaya and this is going to be a very subtle look I'm gonna do tone on tone stamping so pale papaya ink with pale papaya cardstock and you'll see what I mean when I say it's pale it is just it's not a bold look at all and I'm gonna do a little bit of just subtle stamping on the background of my card base and while I am at it, I might do the envelope as well. So let's just go ahead and do this one as well. I do find on these larger stamps, it's easier, you know, typically I'm doing my stamp this way, but I do find it easier with these large stamps to turn them upside down and stamp, uh, ink your stamp that way. Some people do all of their stamping that way. Um, I just don't, I guess my habit is the other way to tap the stamp into the pad. It's not really a right or wrong way to do that. Okay, so there's my very subtle background. I think I'm gonna wait on the envelope because the jury is out there. Now, 
What I didn't do on this because it was doubled and I thought I could probably get away with it on that back on that outline stamp. When I'm doing um, a heavier application of ink, which this has a lot of ink, I really do need this mat when I'm using a photopolymer stamp set. So you folks who are doing paper pumpkin kits, this is one of the first things I would recommend you add to your supplies because it really does give you a much better application of ink. Having said that, the other thing you could use is just like your stamp up catalog underneath you or a magazine. Let me grab some paper here. My trusty Drury Hotel's um, notepad because I am going to ink outside of the lines here and I don't want it I don't want it to transfer to my cardstock. So I'm going to use pumpkin pie ink because I want a deeper shade of peachy orange. And this is definitely, pumpkin pie is very aptly named. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, just classic pumpkin color. And I'm going to stamp this is actually the fill-in image of my dahlia. And it already has, look how that stamp, it's a, um, I think they call this, not photorealistic, there's another name, I can't think of it. But it gives you all of that great gradation of ink so that with just that one color ink and that one color stamp, you get all of that gorgeousness. So it makes me look like an artist when I'm really, can't even draw a stick figure. So that is going to be my stamping right there. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do before we, you know, let's go ahead and stamp the second one too. And then we're gonna step it up, okay. So you can see why I didn't want that ink transferring to my cardstock, just in case it made a mess. Okay. Distinctive, thank you, Jill. It is a distinctive stamp. And this is a patented process that Stampin' Up! developed to give us this gorgeous look. And it is a very distinctive look. Now, you can, with this stamp set, and I probably should show you, um, you can layer these stamps together so that the one I used initially, the outline, as it were, you can stamp this on top to get two different shades going. But I'm actually using them separately. And that's one of the things I love about this stamp set is you can use them together as a two-step stamp or you can use them separately. And I like those kinds of options. And uh, one of the things, you know, you'll hear me preach it a lot is I love versatility in our stamp sets and our coordinating products. It's one of the things I look for with the stamps that I personally purchase. So let's go here and, you know, I think, yes, I did the right thing there. Okay. This is a four by three piece of very vanilla cardstock. It is one of those cuts that you use again and again in design work because it's just a natural. It fits so beautifully. It also is really easy on your paper. So on your supplies, it's not going to take very much. Now, I am going to take a piece of Mary Merlot. Let me make sure. <laughs> I picked up the wrong color. Uh, let's see. I picked up the wrong color. Let me show you. The so this is what I picked up and prepped, which would be okay. This is Cherry Cobbler. But this is the ink I have, and it's Mary Merlot. And you can see the difference there. This is more purpley, and that's really what I'm wanting to use. So let me get my paper trimmer out. So much for actually preparing today. Uh, like I said, I did do this project. I did the, the stepped-up project at my um, card class, but I haven't done the simple version, and I am going to just kind of see how we get on with this. So that's already at four and a quarter, and I'm gonna do three and a quarter. So my very vanilla piece is four by three, and my little matte image, or my matte layer, I should say, is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. 
Now, some people, when you're doing this application, I'm going to show you, do both pieces in four by three. But I like to have a little bit of extra color outside. So let me show you what I mean. I can do it like this and just have a standard, um, what am I looking at, frame. But, hey Simone, I'm glad you're here. What I initially, what I did initially was to just offset it. And this is where, if you have the same size, you just have a smaller amount peeking out. But I wanted to have enough of that Merlot peeking out to really give this a fall look. So that is what I'm going to start with here for my simple card. And you can see right now, with just stamps, ink, and paper, I've already got a really nice look going. So I'm gonna get my seal, and I'm gonna get some dimensionals. That's all I'm really going to need here. So, um, now Jane looks like she knows Simone, so that's gonna be fun. It's always interesting to see people across the US who know each other in other aspects of life. So I know that Simone is in Orlando area and Jane is in the San, greater San Antonio area. She is in um, Bernie. Now you can do this two ways. You can either off, you can either line up the, uh, the layer piece, the frame, or you can line up the inside of the frame. I like to line up the inside of the frame. There we go. And now I am going to add my, this is where I'm going simple, so I'm gonna see. I think I'm gonna add my greeting, my, what do you call it, my happy birthday with this. I could also go with this. I think that's a little bit too much of the, um, this is a little bit too much of the pale papaya. This gives a nice punch of color. I'm gonna trim this down. Oh, you guys are just now meeting. Well, that's a good thing, Jane. And Vicki is here from Maine. So, Simone, you don't usually travel around the US. We, we could change that. <laughs> and then here is vanilla. You know, maybe we'll do, no, that's probably too much. We could even do like this, but I think it's just too much two-tone. I think we're gonna keep it simple. And let's just go with this. Now, I think I probably need like a one inch piece because I have a happy birthday here. Looks like I probably need about a one inch piece. So, my trimmer back out. And let's just do one inch like so with pumpkin pie, and then I'm gonna bring in, I can do pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie. However, yeah, Melissa, you like the darker one too. I think it's a better fit. Uh, you know, with color, you can get too much of a good thing, and you do need, in, in my view, you need a little bit of contrast to help bring out the colors. So this is gonna be a good fit, and instead of doing tone on tone, I want my happy birthday to really stand out. So I'm going to use Mary Merlot. That's the other color that I have in my design here. So let's see if we go with happy birthday. Ooh, I could even bring that down to three quarters of an inch. So let's do that. I think I have my little mini chopper, yes. This is something that Stampin' Up! had probably two years ago, and I really, oh, let's see, that's gonna be probably about, it's actually seven eighths, but I like to have a trim greeting here because I really, really wanna highlight these, um, my flowers. So, let's see. If we can just do it the simple way, and that is, if you don't have a punch to help you with flagging, you can just take your snips and go down to the center and then go corner to center and corner to center. And then you have a 
pretty perfect little flag. Oops. And I like flagged ends. Sometimes I just slice it. Sometimes I do it straight, but more often than not, I'm gonna flag that end. I think it just looks, oh, I can't see with the light here. It looks to me a little bit more finished, and I think I like that little angle most of the time. And, well, candy. <laughs> okay, here I'm trying to do simple, and I'm just kind of mucking it up and making it difficult. And I think it's because there's a little bit of a shadow from my ceiling fan. Ay, ay, ay. This is why I use my punch. Here we go. Did I get there? <laughs> oh my. Okay, this is why Candy uses this punch right here because, yeah, that. Perfect. <laughs> Effortless and perfect. So there is my Stamps, Ink, and Paper Super Simple Birthday Card. I really like it. I'm going to pop this up on Dimensionals. And then I'm going to put a sweet little greeting on the inside because it is a part of this stamp set. And I probably, in retrospect, I could have done this in a darker shade and maybe liked it more. Not liked it more, but it would have been a little bit stronger. But subtle is nice. And this is a perfect card for beginner stampers. Stamps, ink, and paper, boom, done. Let's put our greeting on the inside. Where did my, here we go. There's a really cool, um, this one. Hope your day is fantabulistic. Fabulous and fantastic all in one. So I'm going to grab that greeting and I'm going to put it on the inside. And then I'm going to take, let's see, let's do this in Mary Merlot again. And hope that I can kind of get this where it needs to be. There we go. Hope your day is fantabulistic. This has really nice greetings. So there we go. Simple stamping. Now let's take the same card and let's step it up. So perfect for beginners, perfect for if you have just a small amount of supplies, ready to go. Classic birthday card. Let's see what we can do to step it up now. And this is where everybody likes to, you know, we're girls, we like to, we like to glam it up typically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and then I have a little strip of this is that gorgeous paper that you can get free with a celebration order. Isn't that just right there? You would stamp the dahlia on the ends. Oh, that's a great idea, Gail. I think I will go back and do that. Um, look at how that changes everything. You just add that very, very glitzy paper and look what happens. Now, I like to use my mini glue dots on this stuff because it has a lot of texture. And so you definitely don't wanna be putting, you know, your seal adhesive on there. So I like to do that and then just line it up to where, you know, it peaks out however much you want it to and I just had some little four inch strips already you know, left over from some other project. So that was like the perfect amount to put on there to really pick that up. And I do think um, this is kind of a, it's kind of a champagne. It's not quite, you know, they I don't know if they call it gold or champagne, but it looks to me more like champagne than, than a straight gold. Now, once again, make sure my card's opening correctly. I am going to offset this and I'm going to pull this straight and then I am going to put some more seal on here and pop this down so that my vanilla piece is straight and my Merlot piece is a little bit offset. There we go. Now let's take 
instead of doing happy birthday here, let's see what happens if we do a little fancy footwork with our happy birthday and let's try to introduce a punch and see what happens. So I'm going back to my Mary Merlot ink and let's see, let's try happy birthday here. And let's just see what happens if we punch this out with double oval punch. This is another great punch for anybody. I think it's a particularly good punch for newer people because it's very classic. I mean, ovals are very classic in design work and a lot of things fit into this oval. You also get two punches here. So there is my happy birthday. Boom. And let's see whether I want to have a little there. No, I think I actually am going to bring in a little bit more of that Merlot paper like and let's see if that doesn't kind of pick things up a little bit too. But that definitely steps it up. I like that a lot. And then I'm going to, of course, attach it. So let's put a little bit of seal here. And then we will add... Mm -hmm. Look how beautifully that greeting just fits so nicely into that oval punch. I will say, um, one of my team members, Jill, is on here, and she's been doing, she's been entering our creative challenges, which we run several of each month on our Facebook page. She's been entering some that have uh, a number that are using this stamp set, and I like it a lot. Um, our creative challenges are not contests, so we're not voting on the best card. We are just, it's a drawing, and you can enter as many times as you want. So if you enter the drawing five times, or you enter five different projects, that means five times we're going to cheer you on, and five times your name goes into the drawing. So that's just a super fun way that people earn free products while they share what they love with the rest of us. So it's one of the really fun aspects of my team. And yes, these punches are the bomb. Now, I will show you something that is just kind of one of those hacks, I guess. Yes, I have take your pick tool and it is the best way to pick up the jewels. But you know what, sometimes I, this is what I have out, I'm in a hurry. I'm just gonna use the tip of my, of my scissors and that's what I'm gonna to use to just add champagne rhinestones. And aren't they gorgeous? See, I think this blends really well. I'll see, this is where I should have my take your pick tool. I think these work blend really well with um, this champagne over here. Maybe that does need to go in the center of the flower. Let's try it and see. Yeah, I think that works. So there is my stepped up version. And let's go back to the simple version because we're gonna definitely add uh, a dahlia to the inside. So we have simple here, and then we have stepped up here. I like them both, I really do. Now, you know, putting a few rhinestones on here would definitely just, let's just do that and see. You know, a little bling will pretty much step anything up and okay let's just not be so lazy candy let's get your take your pick tool out and make life simple okay here we go let's grab my there we go look at there you know diamonds are a girl's best friend yeah what can we say these are just the bomb and I will say even for new stampers um, what I love about these is I think the champagne ones are six dollars. The the um, the silver classic ones are five dollars, and you get like a hundred. So they're really easy on the pocketbook. They don't take any skill at all to apply. You don't have to have a pick your, take your pick tool. You can just apply them, you know, with your fingers or with tweezers. Okay, let's do a little something on the inside. I still need to put my inside birthday greeting here, and then. 
Gail had the idea to add some dahlias on the inside, and I think that's a brilliant idea. So let's start with our Mary Merlot for the inside breeding. And that's gonna keep that part of the inside really bold. And make sure that whoever I'm sending this to really knows what I'm wishing them. A fantabulistic birthday. So again, this is a host-only stamp set. It comes free with a $300 order. So it's a perfect reason to have some friends stamp with you. And uh, we have our kits make it super easy to do that. We could do a paper pumpkin night. We could do a kit night. You can do it on Zoom. I can assist you with that, or you can do it on your own. And you know that I like doing the kit parties on Zoom is really brilliant because everybody can just order their kit. You go to stampup.com slash kits and they can pick whatever kit they want. And then uh, we use the host code so it attaches to your party. And then we can just have, get together and over Zoom anywhere in the US and have some fun stamping. So let's use the outline edge and let's do a little bit of fancy footwork on the inside. So I am using the darker orange ink pumpkin pie because I do think that the, um, the pale papaya was really pale. So look at there, wow, va va boom. And let's do the other half right up here. And look how that, I mean, Gail, thank you for a brilliant suggestion. And actually, see, I could have, I wonder if I can lift this real, oh yeah, look at there. I'm gonna just lift this up. It hasn't dried too much, and I am going to stamp right over that. I don't think you'll even be able to tell. Let's ink this up with the pumpkin pie. So we're actually reducing the number of inks we're using. We're going to use just the pumpkin pie and just the Mary Merlot, and we just really didn't even need the pale papaya ink. But I do like the pale papaya cardstock because it keeps it from getting too dark. And I think it gives it kind of a, a light, um, kind of an airy feel. There we go, let's pull this back. And oh, look at there. Oh yeah, I think that was the ticket. So this is our simple stamping. We did add some rhinestones. Other than that, it's just sand, sink, and paper with a birthday greeting. And now let's do those dahlias on the outside of our stepped up one as well and on the inside. So let's lift this and bring in our dahlia on the bottom here on this corner. And then we're gonna do another dahlia up in the top corner. And I'm really glad that y'all came out to stamp with me here today. And see how much fun this would be with your friends in an online format. We could just do a little Zoom party and then everybody can be doing their own projects and sharing what they've made. And yes, Gail, you have saved the day. Look at there. The different color ink also made a huge difference. Now let's put that same dahlia on the inside. So I'm using free stamps all the way around today. Now, they obviously are free when you purchase. They are free with a purchase, but that's kind of the way things go, you know. But I do like that Stampin' Up! is rewarding us for shopping with a free item when we purchase. And I have to say, this only goes through the end of September. So, you know, grab them while you can. And then look at those beautiful, rich fall colors. But using the pale papaya keeps it from getting too dark. You know, if you, if you're, when you're using fall colors, if you get it too, too many dark colors, I think it kind of muddies everything. So we will, while we have stamps out and while we have figured out that this is definitely the ink color that we want to use, 
let's go ahead and take care of these envelopes and then they are ready to pop in the mail to make someone's day. And I think that because we've used the dahlia a lot, um, and just to kind of give it a little bit of um, a little bit of um, screen time, let's add in. I will need to clean a stamp here, um, which I should do anyway. So let's help Candy have good habits here, and let's. Um, Grab these envelopes here. Let's clean this stamp and my other greeting stamp, and we will put these in their little container. And then I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna bust out the leaf stamp from the dahlias because it is really beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead, I like the outline image. When you're using it as kind of a background like that, you see how, what we did was we used the outline image as a background and the fill-in image, the photo, the real, uh, not realistic, distinctive one, in the foreground. So this is kind of in the background and that's the kind of action I wanna do with the leaf. And I'm gonna use that one. The um, I could use the other flower. <sighs> you know what, let's use the other flower. This one doesn't get a lot of screen time either. So let's just use this other little tiny, little tiny dahlia. And you know, these kind of remind me of chrysanthemums too. When you change up the colors, they kind of remind me of chrysanthemums. So let's bring this in and let's do a little bit of, move these guys so I don't get them in ink. And I'll bring them back in a minute. So you always want to make sure that you're, um, you double check to see which direction your envelope is going and I'm going to just do a couple of these little guys right down here. You see how when I ink that up and then I stamp it off I get a lighter version and I think I will just do the same action right over here and then it kind of looks like I've got my flowers just kind of falling. Now I did Kind of get a little smudge of ink, so let's just do. I still have room to put my uh, return address there. And there is my simple stamping card. Very, very nice with my envelope. And again, my color scheme is Pale Papaya, Mary Merlot, and Pumpkin Pie. So those of you who are going to dive into your uh, stamping supplies when I'm done, I wanted you to be aware of that because I think it's really a lovely, lovely um, color combo. Kind of, I like, what I think I like is the pumpkin pie is a little bit unexpected. And I think that is something I often look for, is something that's a little bit unexpected because it keeps the eye Kind of keeps the eye excited, as it were. Let's just do one in the middle there. There we go. So that is just two colors of ink, two colored cardstocks plus the vanilla, and two free stamp sets for some really fun, simple, and stepped up stamping. You don't need a ton of supplies. You do need the right supplies, so Stampin' Up! is going to help you have the right supplies, the best paper crafting supplies on the market. And I love the way the images just coordinate. This is just one stamp set, well, outside the greeting, because I wanted to use a birthday greeting, and there's not a birthday greeting per se in the uh, Delicate Dahlias. There is one that says, you inspire me, and you could put happy birthday on the inside of that, but, I was going within the parameters of the simple stamping challenge that Stampin' Up! has issued for September. So stamp sync and paper, and it needs to be a birthday card. So I don't know about you, I have a lot of fall birthdays in my family, like a lot of fall birthdays in my family. And then on top of that, I have a number of friends that have birthdays in the fall. So here we go. Let me move all of my stuff out of the way. 
and then we are ready for a photo when I'm done. So let's just line these up nicely to get a good view. So there we go. Let me do it this way because I try to do simple and stepped up stamping and a great fall color scheme. But once again, celebrating our celebration stamps. And not only did I use celebration stamps, this little guy right here, that little bit of bling, that is a free celebration item. I keep getting too far down the camera today. And just a little goes a long way. So you don't need a lot, in my view, to get a real, a really strong impact of what you've got there. So let me show you one more thing before I leave you. This is my host code for this month. So if you are ready to place a celebration order and try to earn these stamps, that's free with a $100 order. This gold, this gorgeous bedazzled paper or bedazzling paper is free with a $50 order. And if you would like to work on earning this gorgeous, gorgeous greeting stamp set for free, contact me. Uh, either you can send me a private message in Facebook, you can text me, or you can just put in the comments there and I will help you put together a kit party or some other kind of a, really, when you're doing a Zoom thing, a kit party is the best way to go because then everybody has, they have their stamps, they have their ink, their paper. There's even some kits that don't use any stamping. The kits are $12 and $19, and we have a brand new Christmas one. So uh, people can order one kit, they can order two or three kits, and you can earn some of these free rewards. So let's talk about kit parties. And if you want to place an order today or later this month, this is my September host code. And that will tie into my party. And that means you'll get something fun for free as a thank you gift. Okay, well, it is time to love you and leave you. I have some things I need to get ready for the post office. And usually I have a cup of tea right after my Facebook Live. That's just kind of the way I roll. I'm a tea drinker. I start with coffee in the mornings, most mornings, and um, sometimes drink espresso after dinner in the evenings, but I'm a, I'm a hot tea girl. And you know, I drink iced tea once in a while, which I know in the South is like, um, you know, how could you even say such a thing? But I drink a lot of hot tea. Started that as a teenager, moved to England, and yeah, you walk in the door of anybody's house, the first thing they do is they give you a cup of tea, and then you're drinking tea all day just to stay warm. So, um, so Melissa, you like both the simple and stepped up. I'm so happy. I do too. You know, really simple stamping can really be gorgeous. And if you have friends that you're wanting to introduce to stamping, this is the kind of card that is perfect for them super easy cuts to prep and it's also not intimidating you know some of the things that we do with our stamping once we've been stamping for a while we have a lot of steps we have a lot of different supplies that we're using and simple stamping is approachable for anyone and everyone it's especially approachable for new people and who doesn't want to start a new hobby you know that's one of the things that um Stamp It Up is growing by leaps and bounds. We just had the State of Stamp It Up um, numbers in our um, leadership event. And I'm trying to show off my new earrings I got from Robin. Well, I, I purchased them from Robin. My friend Robin has a, um, she's part of a um, direct sales company called Plunder. And I love, love, love the things I get from her. Um, okay, back to uh, State of Stamp Up. Stamp Up is growing by leaps and bounds. And part of the reason is people are more ready than ever to dive into a new hobby. Lifestyles have changed in the last 18 months. And even though people are getting out and about more, they're having more time at home. And I think there's a real revival of hobbies. And that's a good thing. Um, for kids as well as adults. And life has slowed down somewhat. 
And many people are working from home, schooling from home, which means you have more time because you're not spending all the time that you typically would on a commute. So they're simple and even stepped up on this. I mean, we just added a punch and we added a little bit of this sparkle paper. That's really all we did. So, um, you know, whether you have a punch or whether you don't, you still end up with a really pretty card. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Don't forget, I will be here Tuesday for Teach Me Tuesday. I've got so many ideas running through my head that I can't decide where I'm gonna land yet for Tuesday, but uh, we will get there. And in the meantime, please share my video. It helps me so much. Thank you so much for being here. Take care and God bless.